would say you need a pet to, to organize. Or maybe a lot of pets to organize. Hey guys, what is up? It is Lucky Shark Studios here, and today I'm going to show you how you can organize a LPS in many different ways. So, I'm going to be using the little LPS storage device that comes with the seahorse, but this can work with any storage device. And I'm also using the Dash Hounds because those are the LPS I have the most of. So, without any further ado, let's get on to the organizing. First way we can organize our LPS is probably the most common way, which is by number. So as you can see, I'm organizing all the Dash Hounds by the number. Now, let's say you want to be a little bit more creative with your organization or just have a lot of time on your hands. Well, organizing by color does also make sense and also works. Now, you can organize them in any way by color as long as it makes sense for you. For this example, I'm going to be organizing them by lighter colors to darker colors. Our next type of organization is a little bit more personal, and that is favorite LPS. Whatever it's favorite LPS in general, or something uh, like favorite design. Next one, I like to call the LPS Tuber way of organizing, and that is organizing your LPS by the amount of screen time that they have on your channel, or just the LPS that you use the most. There is, however, uh, a slight... Uh, catch in uh, this type of organizing. If you don't have a channel or don't really use LPS that often, then it might be uh, hard for you to organize this and I wouldn't recommend that for you. But if you do have a channel and you do want to organize in a different way, I suggest this one because not only is it fun to uh, go and see how much screen time each of your LPS have, and math, woo, yay, math, it also has its perks when you want an LPS that you use often or not so often, and you can just easily scan through your organization, grab that LPS. Now for this last type of organization is for not just organizing LPS as individuals, but as an entire group, and this of course is what I call the grouping type of organization. Basically what you do is base, is uh, organize LPS in groups based on a simple trait. For this I'm going to be using eye color and then organizing uh, the LPS in each group by number. Now it, this does take a little bit of time especially if you have a lot of LPS to work with but if you want to do something different with organization or you want all the LPS who have a similar trait that you like to be in one place, I suggest this one to you. 